Amen? Let that word abide in you. Jesus loves you. Okay, every day confess, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Because my Bible tells me so. Amen? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Be convinced that He loves you. Glory to God. Jesus loves you. That's why we can love one another because He first loved us. Now again in Psalm 92. Psalm 92. <clears throat> Are you following me so far? Psalm 92. <clears throat> Notice here. The righteous. Are you the righteousness of God? I said, are you the righteousness of God? The righteous shall, what? Flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those righteous that be planted in the what? The house of the Lord. Shall flourish in the course of our God. They shall still bring what? Forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. So he put in, I shall be fat and flourishing. Basahin nyo, ayaw mag-confess. The word fat simply means I shall prosper. Amen. Okay. Hallelujah. They shall be fat and flourishing. To show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock. And there is no unrighteousness in him. Notice there. There is a connection between righteousness and gl the glory. Righteousness and prosperity. Amen. In the kingdom of God, righteousness and prosperity always go together. You cannot separate God's prosperity from his righteousness. Are you still here? Praise God forevermore. Okay, now, <clears throat> now go to 1 Corinthians chapter 3. 1 Corinthians, or 2 Corinthians chapter 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 3. <clears throat> Let's begin reading on verse 6. Verse 5 said, not, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything of us as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. Now, only those people who are connected to the vine can declare those words just like the apostle paul he understood that he is connected to the vine and because he's connected to the vine you know he said not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves but our sufficiency is of god so people are my sufficiency is of god now verse six who who refers back to God, who also had made us able ministers of the new covenant, the new testament, not of the letter. The new testament is not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. Amen. This is in comparison to the, the law of Moses. The letter, the law of Moses, that commandment kills, but the spirit gives life. Verse 7, but if the ministry of death, written and engraven in stones was glorious notice there anong tawag po sa, sa, sa ten commandments now 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 here wala na po ibang uh, tinutukoy dito maliban po sa ten commandments the ten commandments was the part of the law of moses the only part of the law of moses that was written and engraven in stones amen yun lamang pong bahagi po ng law of moses na nakasulat sa bato yung Ten Commandments. So wala pong iba tinutukin dito kundi Ten Commandments. So anong tinawag sa Ten Commandments? Ministry of Death. But if the ministry of death written and engraven in stones was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses, for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away. Now notice there, although when the Ten Commandments was given by God to Moses, the day it was given, Okay, nung bumaba, nung bumaba po si Moses mula sa Mount Sinai, you know, hindi po makatingin ang diretsyo yung po Israel, congregation of Israel came Moses because of the glory of the Lord. So Moses has to put a veil over his face, you know, because they could not uh, 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 look straight, you know, uh, to the face of Moses, you know, because of the glory of the Lord. But notice there, although it was glorious, that giving of the Ten Commandments was glorious, but notice there, the day it was given, Whatever glory that it had, the day the Ten Commandments was given, it began to fade. Amen? Which glory was to be done away. Amen? Okay? The Ten Commandments is the true faded glory. Mga teenagers, hindi nyo na alam yung faded glory. Ang panahon namin, uso yan. 
fade in glory. Okay. Pero ngayon, meron pa po sa stage. Sa Walmart, sa stage, meron pang brand na faded glory. Anyway, <clears throat> okay, which, which glory was to be done away. So notice there, although the giving of the commandments was glorious, but the day it was given, it began to fade in glory. In comparison, you know, the Bible said, how shall not the ministry of the Spirit be glorious? The New Testament, the New Covenant is, a minister, is the ministry of the Spirit. It is glorious, for if the ministry of condemnation, that is the Ten Commandments, be glory much more. So, in much more? Much more the ministry of what? Righteousness. Notice there, the New Testament is first of all a ministry of the Spirit, and it is the ministry of righteousness. That's why, you know, I preach more on righteousness. Amen? Because that's the ministry of the, 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 New, the New Testament. The ministry of righteousness, okay, exceeding what? Glory. For even that which was made glor glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excels. For if that which is done away, the, old, uh, the, the Ten Commandments, was glorious, much more that which remaineth is glorious. The New Testament is much more in glory. Amen? Let's drop down to verse 17. Now the Lord is not the Spirit. Okay, now, now let's go on. But even unto this day, verse 15, unto this day when Moses read, the veil is upon their heart, Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. The veil. And even today, you know, even today, you know, whenever the law, whenever the Ten Commandments is being taught, you know, those are Israel, among who you, okay, they can understand it. Because there is, there's the veil. But you know what? Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, kapag sila na born again, among who you, the veil shall be taken away. Amen. Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, but we all. But we all. But we all. Are you including the word all? But we all, with open face, beholding us in a glass, us in a mirror, the glory of the Lord. You know what? Whenever we behold the Word of God, whenever we meditate on the Word of God, we behold the glory of the Lord. Amen? Now the word is the mirror. The word is the glass. The word is the mirror. Every time we meditate on the word of God, we are beholding the glory of the Lord. And the more we behold the glory of the Lord, the more we will be changed from glory to glory. Amen. Amen. We are being changed into the same image. Glory to God. Whatever image of Jesus Christ that you behold, you will be changed into the same image. Amen. That's why when you begin to see Jesus in His glory, you will be changed into the same image. What, what is the image of Jesus Christ that you have in your heart? Okay. Is He a good Lord? Amen. Is He the Lord that prospers and heals? Come on. Whatever image that you have of Jesus, you will be changed into the same image. That's why we need to behold Jesus Christ, amen, in His glory. And we will be changed into the same image from glory to glory. Remember these words from the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 8. The word is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we praise. Glory to God.